Today, we, we're going to have two kind of different topics. The first one is, as you can see here, the singular value decomposition, SVD. And the second topic is going to be ICA, independent component analysis. So those two topics. And the strategies that I'm going to utilize here is that instead of uh, give you a lot of theory and theoretical explanation, instead of that, I'm going to just skip a lot of details. And I'm going to show you some famous and interesting example, two examples, one from the SBD and the other one for the ICA. And again, it's, uh, I will do that examples in, in Python. And so I'm going to show you how to use Python instead of how, what's the theory behind and those will be the strategies that I'm going to take for today. So let's uh, start with the singular value decompositions. And I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with this SVD. And I guess some of the, if you uh, have taken the linear algebra class, probably yes. And if done, probably, it, most of uh, some of them is the first time that you 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 saw you see or you hear the singular value decomposition, but it's okay, it's okay, totally fine for this to this to the uh, this class. And let's see what it is. And again, it's a uh, I would guess it's highly related to eigenvalue eigenvector or eigen analysis. And I'm, I'm gonna show you in the later part of this talk is that how these, the SPD and the eigen value, eigen analysis are related. And so it's, again, it's a linear algebra and starting from matrix A. Here, any matrix and any matrix we can think of as a linear, equivalent linear transformations, I think I, I mentioned so many times at the very beginning of this semester. And you can think of a lot of linear transformations, but just uh, for simplicity, and suppose you have some kind of coordinate, it could be 2D space or 3D space, it's totally fine. And any linear transformation you guys can think of as a, as a combination of rotations and stretch or compress. you guys can think of, okay? And in, in here says original space, and this is kind of mapped, like I would say X and here, like AX. So it's a transformed by matrix A and any data point, suppose this is X, any vector, I mean, in general, you said, I said it's rotation. So I'm not sure how many, but it says it's rotated like that. And it could be stretched or compressed. So again, it's rotated and stretched. If you do this kind of process for entire data points in, 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 in X, in domain, probably you, you should, we should think about how to visualize these things. And one of them is that, suppose we have a circular like that, all the data points mapped in the other map and it's, it's, it's rotated, it's rotated. And in this direction is stretched, in this, the other, I mean, here is compressed. This is one of the example of made the geometry of linear maps by matrix A. Okay. Then here in domain of A, we can pick two bases because it's in, in, in two dimensional space. And suppose there's 
V of one and V of two. And V of one, probably I trans, I would say A, V of one is U, U one, you know, U of one direction with scaling factor of sigma one. And another vector and sigma two. That's a singular value decompositions. For any given A, we can compute B and U and sigma. Again, it's like eigenvalues, but eigenvalues here it should be in 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 domain and range is the same vector. But here in, 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 in SVD, it doesn't have to. So you might say, or I might say, this is SVD's more generic expressions or, and or the eigenvalue is very special case of SVD. Okay. Don't worry about whether this is true statement or not. Don't worry about how you find V and Sigma and U given A, do not worry about it, okay? There are many theories behind, but I'm going to skip all of them. The existence and how to compute, I'm going to skip all of them, right? But conceptual wise, I hope you guys get some, some the visualized, visualized understanding of these. The most important figures when it comes to SPD. Like that, like that, right? With these figures in your mind, let's move on. So it's extremely important factors in every matrix A, I would say every, and uniform, again, I generalized it. In previous example was in two like that, but again, it's, it's generalized. And it's going to map Unipol to the ellipsoid, ellipsoid, All right? And singular values and singular vectors, it's like eigenvalues and eigenvectors, All right? So in, in uh, always uh, think these things, uh, like how to relate it, those, we have factors and numbers. This is, we call it singular values of A. And tons of, by conventions put positive. If it's can be if it's negative, then we can put negative sign on, 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 on the factors. So always we can make it all the, the value of singular, va the, the value of singular values is make it positive. We can do that. And these are unit factors. These are unit factors in, the, in so again, here is U space and V space. It's unit factors in the principal semi-axis. It's, it's like principal component in the PCA, if you remember. And these V, over here is in 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 in, in pre-image, same as dom domain of A. Okay, so these are the kind of definitions. Again, I didn't show you how to compute it from given matrix A. Those are the definitions, and see. The graphical explanations. And let me see in v, again in V space and U space. And here we do have sigma, a sigma of one and sigma of two. Let me see, let me see. Suppose we have here. 
n-dimensional space and m-dimensional space, suppose we pick r v vectors, then what we can do is that over here, v1 is sigma1, u1, a v r is sigma r u r okay and we're gonna put them together make it like a v1 and v2 v r and and this is sigma 1 u1 one, sigma 2 u2 two, two, and sigma r you are and here here is tricky part this is not like sigma one sigma two sigma r maybe like u1 u2 you are this is not this is not actually this is the correct way of if you remember i mean you have to do at least you have to do once and do matrix multiplications to see whether you get get this over there is it's all of the materials okay so from here it's not intuitive but you 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 have you have to do it you have to figure it out by yourself so these are the column vectors again i mentioned several times for the column vectors we put them together and stack it in say in horizontal way, these are big matrix of V and we can do the same thing and big matrix of U and these are diagonal matrix, I'm gonna say Sigma. So it turns out from, from A, any given A, we can do, we can do this, we can do this. Okay, so from A, finding these, we call it singular value decompositions. We call it SVD. From A, we can compute these three different matrix. How do you compute it? Don't worry about it. It's not that important, I guess. But it's really important in understanding of the meaning of this matrix and this matrix and this matrix and how you utilize the concept of SVD in many engineering applications is more important than understanding of theory of SVD, I guess. So let me, if you see here thin SVD and full SVD, there's some difference. Thin SVD means that Again, let me see, A is skinny and full rank. If this, remember the skinny matrix and the fat matrix, you guys should remember. So in, in the case of the A matrix is skinny and the full rank, full rank, that means so it's like, so I guess kind of this square is, Right, and let me see here. Yeah, then we can pick, 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 pick m u vectors, and I mean n u vectors, n v vectors. Remember, in the previous in 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 general explanation or generic expressions, remember. N and M, we can pick R, okay? That's a generic expressions. And over here, we put some more assumptions on it. A matrix is skinny and full rank. Then say R is equal to N, R is equal to N. Then what we can do is, let me see. So like that, yeah. So this is a square matrix and all of them are square matrix. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
So this is square matrix. Uh, I mean, probably you will see that. This is again is true for for single SVD, and we can write it to in a matrix form like that. And here actually what we can do A B U sigma, but here from B it's a uh, it's it's a from V. Now I mean it's it's kind of confusing that is you have to always think about this the the shape or I mean shape of the matrix. And here A matrix is skinny and full rank. Here is N, probably you will say N, and over there is M. Here, sigma is we have, right? So it's M by N. And diagonal matrix, diagonal matrix. And V is, is over there, is in, 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 on here. So it's, again, it's M by N. But here is M by M matrix. You have to think about it. Now, what we hear, it's a, it's a, it's a, the length, these are the unit vectors. I mean, the unit vectors and all of them are orthogonal. So probably, I'm gonna skip that one, but it's the same as like that. No, not this one. So it's, it's inverse is same as transpose. So from that, using that, that or we can say transpose. So that's SVD. Given A, Using the Python to find out singular value to, to conduct a conduct a singular value decompositions, and it's gonna tell us what's the u vectors and v vectors and what's the sigma. I mean the matrix. And what is the full rank? What is the full rank? And these let me show you. Let me write it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is okay. So this one was a thin, and the thin is in the full rank, full singular value decomposition is that here's we gonna add all zeros. So it's M by N, M by M, and here you have M by M matrix. We can add, add here, then we can add more column vectors in, in, in U space. We can add more or extra orthogonal, orthonormal column vectors. And sigma, what we're gonna do is we add zeros. Doesn't change anything, right? So in that case, in, in this is thin SVD and this is full SVD. I guess, don't worry about it. I guess that, that this one, you guys know, don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about. That's totally fine because I skip a lot of details. Okay. Now, how gonna interpret? What's what's gonna be the why we are doing SVD first first place? Okay. SVD decompose the linear map into I mean A matrix into into U sigma V transpose. So this is matrix multiplications. And if you guys remember multiplication of uh, multiplication of uh, matrix multiplication is you guys can think of 
sequence of linear transformations. In which directions? In that direction. Right? So AX, same as that. And this is on linear transformations, it's going to produce or generate the column vectors. And for that column vectors, we can do that. That means another linear transformations and the output of that is going to be the another column vectors and we will do another linear transformations. So actually any given matrix with A, we guys, we can do three times consecutive linear transformations like that like that, given V, sigma in U, we're gonna do like this, and we're gonna do like that, we're gonna do like that. Right? So that's kind of the way that, I'm, that I explain it in, in, in terms of matrix multiplications. And what about linear, in the sense of linear transformations? So that means this one, if you, you V vectors is a, it's a rotational matrix. Because remember all the columns are unit vectors and all, all, the, all of them are orthogonal. That means that's a property of rotation, rotational matrix. So, okay, so, I mean, for that one, I have a lot of things to say, but I'm not gonna do. So this is like, so this is rotational. So from X, I'm gonna rotate it. And this one is Sigma, right? And diagonal matrix. In that directions, I'm gonna scale it, scale up or scale down in that direction. Once we're done with that, I'm going to rotate it back to back by matrix of U. So rotate it and scale it and move back. You guys remember like, I guess, so I mean, let's see. in this kind of the mirroring linear transformations, you guys can think of as a, as a, as a, what I say, rotating back to, let me see. I mean, I, I, right now I cannot think of some good examples, but representative examples, but, but remember like any linear transformations and we can do this kind of matrix decompositions, which is singular value decompositions and the physical meaning or geometric meaning or understanding that you guys uh, uh, supposed to do is in that directions, you're gonna do rotations and scaling in each axis and rotation like back to the, the original space, okay? And the side note, unlike eigen decompositions, the, the only difference that eigen decomposition, U, U and Vs are the same, but the singular value is more generic expressions like, like I mentioned it. So it's input and output directions are different in general. So SVD, you guys can think of as matrix factorizations. Why? Here. From A, I factorized three different, three different matrix multiplications. Okay. And so far, what I said is the eigenvalue is very special case of singular value decompositions. And here is what, when, when A matrix is symmetric and positive definite. I guess you guys know what symmetric is, but positive definite, I never mentioned it in these lectures. 
but okay some i know that some of you 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 already learned about the positive definite of any given matrix a or if you don't totally fine don't worry about it so when the matrix a the given matrix a when the matrix a has very special properties in this case it's a symmetric and positive definite definite and a if we do singular value decompositions and u and v's are the same so what we can do like that and here now it's u and v's are the singular i mean the eigenvectors and lambda is same as sigma okay don't worry about it like either in the homo or or final exams i'm not gonna ask prove these kind of things i'm not gonna ask so Here and the eigenvalues and eigenvectors are highly related. There's some relationship to the principal component analysis. So now see that the PCA and SVD, any real symmetry and positive matrix of B has eigen decompositions like that. I just did that in the previous slide. I just changed from A to B, any B matrix. Okay. And any real matrix A, we can do singular value decomposition. These two statements are true. And I hope that don't worry about why, why this is true is too much, but take it for granted. That's totally fine for this lecture. And A is any real matrix, right? And suppose that it's a skinny and full rank. So what we can do is that A transpose, I mean A, A times A transpose. Or what we can do is that like that, like that. So let's see what this, this is another matrix. We will do another matrix, another matrix. Let's see what's going to happen. And A, A transpose, A is, it's a, we can do single, single uh, SVD. So it's U and sigma V transpose and U sigma V transpose and transpose. So what we can do now, remember like in opposite directions, V transpose and transpose is V itself and sigma transpose and U transpose. And this is, we know that this is a eigen matrix. I mean, the unit, I mean, identity matrix. A transpose. And here, sigma is diagonal matrix and sigma transpose is another diagonal matrix. So I will say U, you transpose and this one is eigen values right in so the the relationship with sigma i square is same as lambda i and if we were to say this is b matrix and eigen vector eigen vector of b matrix is u right eigen vectors and U is same as this one in, in, in A matrix, if you do SVD. That's the relationship between like eigenvalues and eigenvectors and PCA and SVD or things like that. That's the relationship. That's the relationship. And this, this is the eigenvalue, eigenvectors in, in that case. We can do opposite way, say, say A transpose A is A, A transpose is like, uh, okay, so U sigma V transpose, transpose U sigma V transpose. 
and v sigma transpose u transpose u and sigma v transpose you can write it down and this is an identity matrix and sigma transpose sigma and v transpose so this one is again it's a eigen eigen values and in that case say this is v of one and v of two another matrix and but is remember a transpose a in the previous series a times a transpose it's different and b matrix is the same as we're going to have the same eigenvalues but eigenvectors uh, here is with v instead of u i mean instead of u that's the only difference that's the only difference okay so that's what the relationship between the pca and spd mm -hmm. This is what I did, and V is, in that case, V is the eigenvectors of V. And again, that's the relationship between singular values and eigenvalues. Okay. And let's see, side note, and in PCA, in PCA, see where s is like that and this is same a transpose a okay you guys can check this one so actually this is what what the the reason that i that i that i uh, brought up the s the concept of svd you kind of surprised the why which suddenly is we remember what we did is that we did a supervise and move went to the the, the unsupervised learnings and we did the clusterings and the dimension reductions. So in dimension reductions, you guys got kind of surprised that why the uh, instructor is start talking about the singular value decompositions. There's, this is the reason. We can do dimension reductions. We can do dimension reductions using SVD. That's why I start introduce the concept of SVD. So basically for dimension reductions, we can do low rank approximations in a sense of SVD. Okay, I'm gonna show you what it is. So again, it's remember like that. So we do A matrix and this is U, right? And from, we do rotations and we do like kind of scaling. We have sigma and we have like over there, we, have, we do rotations. And what we can do, let's see any, any vectors in, 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 in original space. These are basis functions and both um, orthonormal. So we can do this. Since these are the basis and we, do we did basically what we, we did linear combinations. And C of one and C of two, we can compute it. Okay. Now X, how do you compute that one? How do you compute that one? And X, we do inner product. Then we can do V1 inner product. Then these two are orthogonal. And these are, so that's why X, V1 is C1 and V1. See, and v, v1, and these are unifactors. So, kind of, this is how to compute the C of one, and this is coefficient. And we can do the same thing for V of two. So, we can do so. That's how we compute the coefficient, and it's in a product. So, we can do it's a, a transposity. So, that's x in 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 in, 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 in I would say original space, or I would say V space. Now, 
A matrix, we're going to do multiplication. That means I'm going to do linear transformations like that. We can do. And here, A times V of 1. Here, let's give that a lot. This one, we know that this guy by A mapped. So A, V, 1, we know that sigma 1, U, 1, like that. So this guy, like this. And C1, C of 1 and C of 2, we know how to compute. C of 1 and C of 2, we know how to compute. And to do some rearrangement, C, let me see, U of 1, U of n and sigma and I mean, these are the the scholars, so we can change the the these the orders. So actually, from here we can get that one, and from C of two, from that one we can get it. So this is the linear transformed output of x via a. Okay, so if you do, this is matrix multiplications. I mean, I got, I mean, you, you have to do it like that. And in summary, these are the U vectors and these are the sigma and this is V, ve v vector, V matrix and transpose it. Because we, 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 we know that this, this is, Always we can do this kind of decompositions, SVD. Now, what we're gonna do, what we, here, this is the key moment. This is the key moment. Suppose this is uh, like S10, this is like 0 0.2. That means, that means if you do kind of multiplication, I mean here, right there. This is like, I would say 10, and this is like 0 0.2. That means, that means in approximations, I can ignore that one. Right? How we decide that one, it really, like, uh, I made that decisions based on the magnitude of singular values. So I'm just the same as like like this. I put it zeros because I want to do 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 the approximations. I want to do approximations like this. A tilde. Okay. So that's how we do dimensional reductions. Now we don't need these. We don't need. The only thing is, so I guess in this example, it's like say in two dimensional space, we do everything now is, is re reduced down to, to one dimensional space. How did that? We did a singular value decompositions and, and looking at the magnitude of singular values and based on that information, we decide. So I'm gonna show you the image examples for dimensional reductions using singular value decompositions. And suppose this is original image, it's original image. I will say, let me see. In here, let's, let's, uh, so it's, this is the image that we have. And again, it's in image in gray, the same as matrix, right? So we can say it's, it's like, like, like that. And we can do 
singular value decompositions. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in, in, in I'm gonna do it right after these explanations with you. And let's see the singular values. And then how can you let me let me I'm gonna probably I will switch back to so here is the Juke notebook that we have for these lectures. And how do you, let me show you. How do you compute the singular values? And here, me clean up, clean up. Or I'll just clean. So basically here, remember like say A is in, in, in that case, let's say, let me see. So suppose this is A matrix and A times A transpose, and we can do eigen analysis. And let me see. So here, I mean, this is something that you guys already know. And for how to compute SVD, this is the only function that we need to know. Given A matrix and full matrix true, this is how we got. Give us U, U matrix and a sigma and V transpose. That's how we got. So this is the only thing that, I, that you guys remember it. That's why I didn't, I didn't give you the full explanations in, in theory. How do you compute the SVD? I mean, I'm gonna just ask Python's or NumPy's or the, here to 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 the computation for us. Okay. So suppose that we already know how to compute it. I want to utilize that the property of or interesting property of SVD to for the for the the dimensional reductions. Let's move on to the example that I just showed right here. So this is the example that I have. So this one is like 642 by 642. Okay. And if we plot it, this is the image of the pictures that we have, like here in, in the picture of post deck. In again, is here is Oops, oh, not a. So this is the image that I, I mean image, but it's, this is the matrix, right? Matrix. Now I'm gonna put this one and SVD, SVD. And I put it as a matrix and as a matrix and as a matrix. And this is what we got. This is what we got. Now I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see, this is the plot. I plotted the singular values. How many? 642 singular values. And remember it like all over the map positive, that's the way we set up. And as you can see here, some of the is very extremely large and most of them are very small. That means, that means if you remember row, row rank approximations, probably we don't need, we don't need this. We don't need, All right? So if you remember, let me go back to So again, let me see here what we're gonna do is that here what we, this is what we did so far. And here the value of singular values like this. So I'm not gonna use all of them. I'm gonna use some of them, some of them. Let's go back to, let's see, I'm not sure how many, K, how many the singular values that we need. So let's try 20. So I pick 20. 
then corresponding U matrix, corresponding V matrix, I have to remove them, right? On corresponding one. So I just only take 20 like that. So I'm gonna say low rank approximation is U and singular uh, S and B. And this is A hat, A hat. And this is the plot that I got. I mean, this is what we got. So there are many things that I want to mention here. Is that this is the original image that size is six, 642, 642 matrix. Over there, we have only 20 singular values associated the column vectors and the V vectors. Okay. And another way that is if you think about the amount of the like memory that we need to store this and here. And let's change the value of K. So starting from one to 600, like this is the, if you just take the, first, the, the, the information related to first, the largest singular values, that's the one. But kind of see that, I mean, this one was the original, right? And kind of see that there's some important information set. Now I'm gonna add, the second information related to second, the largest eigen, I mean, the singular value. And it's kind of getting, remember, like you guys can see, I'm going to add more. That means I'm going to add more details, detailed information like this in 20s. And from this example, the way you, can, you guys can think in the image. A lot of informations are redundant, redundant. Redundant. Probably I will, I'm not, it really depends on, but it's for me, it's if I rank 10, probably I can get enough informations, enough informations. Maybe trainings, I don't know. It really depends on, so the idea is that suppose you, you want to trans, um, transmit some kind of important information and you can transmit it in the original data or original image like this. But in the smarter way is that you, if you do in the same thing, when you send the information, we do singular value decomposition of all rank and then send it And in, in, in receiver side, so again, what we did, um, this is like okay, send and receive. Here, let's say only 20 sigmas and U and Vs and U and Vs and V transpose. If both parties, suppose that they have U matrix and V matrix, I mean, we can do, right? So the only information that we need to send is sigmas. 10 sigmas or 20 sigmas, that really depends on you. Like you have, like in, in, in this, say it's, uh, it's a wireless trans, uh, trans, trans, transmission, so it really depends on the bandwidth that you have. Say suppose this probably like sending one bit of information. If that's really expensive, you want to minimize, reduce as much as possible. Okay. In the original, that's the the data that we need. But if you do dimension reductions or row rank approximations in SVD, this is what you guys can do. This is extremely smart and useful. Okay. And SVD and low rank approximations and, 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 and the PCA is all the conceptual wise, all my related. 
and pretty much the same theory behind. Same theory behind. So when you do further research or studies and principal components and proper orthogonal mode, POM is, I'm gonna say same. I'm gonna say the same. And here's another interesting example that I want to share and sh show you and share it. And the problem is the, uh, the example that I have is I say we have how many? 12, 12 photos of US president like this. Where is it? So again, I need to make A's, right? But this is the like matrix. So what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna flat. So I'm gonna make single column vectors for each image. So another column vectors, so like that. Okay, so we're gonna make it how many? 12 columns and then gonna do so these will be a matrix and we're going to do singular value decompositions and see if what we can do. So let me see US president and this is the, this, the, the picture, the photos that I just showed. And what we, in order to make a matrix, a matrix, so let me see the shape. Let me see row and columns, and I want to put there row. So we have what's the column. So it's a 250 and 200, right? This is the shape of the image. And then if we do, so so this say again over there, what I gonna do is now is, Right, so it's gonna make. I'm gonna flatten it out to the length if 250 times 200. We have 12 images, so you're gonna have 12 columns like that. So these uh, skinny matrix, we, I will uh, I built the A matrix. So that's what. So here. That's the A matrix, remember like that. And we do, let me see, over there again, we do SVD, SVD. We do SVD. And we have here, since it's, we have 12 singular values, 12 singular values, and I can plot it. We have U, U matrix, Remember in 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 let me see in U matrix again A is U and sigma and V transpose. This one is like that, right? So it's like and U matrix is like again same 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 like this. So we have twelve. And each column vectors, I can reshape it and I can plot it like this. And this is the U vectors, U column vectors. U column vectors. It's kind of related to in, in, in like related to principal component or principal mold. So I guess this one is this one is lead to the first the singular values and probably second singular values things like that.
let me see. So this is the singular value that I have. We have 12 singular values. And as you can see here, the, the first one is the most important. It contains the most important information in the first mode, principal mode. and transmit the compressed information. Assume that both parties have eigen functions in U. And only thing that we need to transform it is corresponding weights of the eigen functions. I mean, the sigmas. So let's say, this is the Obama's image and compute when you, so we, for senders, and this is the eigen phase decompositions you transpose X and use that. The only received, we reconstructed it. And this is the reconstructed information. This is reconstructed information. So remember, let's see. So we have only like 12, 12, or I say 12 scholars. This is the only information that we need to transmit, but we are able to reconstruct original image. You are able to reconstruct. The circumstances of both parties from like senders and receivers should have eigenfunctions as well, I mean, U vectors in, 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 in SVD, All right? And there's another, let's see, Suppose we have this kind of pictures or photos, this kind of photos. I mean, if you go back, and this is the original image that we have in John F. Kennedy. I mean, all of them doesn't, uh, nobody's, they will wear the sunglasses. But somehow, he wants, I don't know, probably, I mean, he was disguised by him, I mean, disguised himself. So it's different from the original image that we have. And what we can do is that we can decompose it and reconstruct it. Decons I mean, decompose and reconstruct. And I want to plot the reconstructed image over there. And this is the reconstructed image. Do you know why? Do you know why? So it's kind of things that you, if you already know eigen mode or eigen functions, and you guys can do data compressions at the same time, what we can do, you can do noise reductions as well. Noise reduction. You can remove some of the unnecessary or some uncertainties and noise. So here is I transform that problems into like the image problem because image is like easy to understand and very intuitive. You guys, we can think of these, the sunglasses as, as a noise, as a noise. Okay. That's, that's kind of beauty of singular value decompositions. That's this, this, that's why I kind of skip a lot of details. I mean, it's, I think it's totally fine, totally okay. And the most important thing that I, uh, that I believe is how do you, how do you understand the concept of uh, dimension reductions or row rank approximations or SVD, whatever, and principal component on this, whatever. And I want you guys, I want you guys see the importance of dimension reductions and how do you use or how do you like implement it and deploy it using like this, I don't, it's like a bad lab or Python, whatever. That's more important, I guess, I believe. So that's why I'm showing some of the use for, and at least this is very interesting and motivated to me to, 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 Okay, so that's all I have for singular value decompositions and probably you're gonna show 
more examples in some of the, the future homework assignment and you will get the, some the solid understandings.